All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. Also, one last thing we have added a form section to gfxcomet.com. So go ahead and check it out. And uh, let's get this active. You could discuss just about anything in here. It's just a great place for, you know, the community, for everybody to just. Um, discuss and share things so enjoy the video this is going to be the first part of a multi-part series where i'm just going to be going over uh the pencil right over here which is crucial for making uis and uh logos so i'm just gonna try my best to go in as much detail as i as i possibly could and uh just try to teach you how to use this pencil so let's start off the pencil is right here it's right above the text tool so I'll just go over here and as you can see there is a bunch of different different variations we're just going to use the standard pencil and now if we go over here we're just gonna make a new layer and you want to look up here so here is shape path and pixels we're just gonna have path selected for now um, we're gonna get to shape maybe later so the pencil is very simple we're just gonna click and click on a different point and as you can see if we just write let's put this um, let me bump this up and if this is a to point b as you can see we have our path here now this is a path um here's something cool you could do with it so with the pencil still selected you could click on the middle and it will create this and you could use your arrow keys and you could actually just curve it like that you could return back to this point and you could complete your shape as you can see if you want to undo any uh paths you've created just want to hit ctrl z so if you look up here there is a lot of there's a lot of uh different options there's selection mask shape so here's one example um let me just make a quick I'm just make a quick selection so I'm gonna hit selection now I'm gonna make a new layer go to my brush tool let me change my color and, and let me show you we can take our brush and we could paint something just like that but uh, that's just one example of the many uses of the pencil um, here's a here is another one so if we take our brush let's bring this up Let's bring the size down to maybe four capacity up we could go to our um, pencil again and we could right click this time go to stroke path and the tool go to brush and as you can see so as you can see when we selected the stroke path option it took the brush settings we have over here and it just applied it onto the path we have created and i'm going to show you how you can curve the path I've showed you one way, but uh, here is a, another way. So if we click, and right before you click on the second point, you just wanna click and hold. And as you can see, if I drag it to this direction on this angle, it makes a nice curve. Now if I click again to somewhere else, it's going to continue um, that, uh, that curve. And uh, if you can see, as I click on the third one, it's going to continue the curve pattern. Um, say you don't want, uh, say you don't want the the third point to be curved. What you want to do is you want to hold Alt, and if you click on this center point, the square. Now your next line, now your next line, your next path will be completely straight. So you can make some interesting shapes. We could go here, curve this over here and let's just complete our shape 